Must you pour it like that? Because now I have to pee. I'm going to just pee in the chair. To your mom's vulva. Yep. Josh! My mic was on up. I hope you heard that. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You hit some corpus. I just drank to my mom's vulva. Don't we all? Uh, today we got a uh, Coke Studio. Not to be confused with her Volvo. That that's a big mistake. Her if Volvo you and her those. Volvo. Yeah, I've I've heard of guys that have made that confusion, and it turned out to be very very ugly. We got a Coke Studio season fourteen. Read these names for me. Biparwa, Momina Mustasen. Yeah, I think this is the current season, season fourteen. Awesome. Uh, hey, oh, this is the uh, antiquity. Yeah, antiquity blue. Um, I noticed a lot of people notice that the Antiquity Blue's in the back. Well, they do, and it made me think of Deep Blue. You know who she is, right? Uh, the shark, Deep Blue? No. Yeah, she's the biggest great white that has ever been caught on film thus far, but news this week, mm -hmm. huge increase of baby great whites and adolescent great whites in the waters. In case you didn't know, Malibu and Santa Monica are the breeding capital of the world for great white sharks, and they said that there's just they're booming right now. Nice. Love it. Uh, I want to go in the water with them now. Not kidding. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on, I think I forgot to... Do the sound. Here we go. Okay. Coke Studio, season 14. Why does that sound like Priyanka? Biparwa. Biparwa. Oh, you 
Mm. Man, how long did they have to rehearse that thing? Yeah, the, the Coke Shoe is doing this new thing this season with like doing a whole production, of, yeah. uh, not just like the live recording. Uh, I'm, I think it's probably a lot of uh, that was still live. live, but yeah. it's just they they do like a whole kind of sketch kind of yeah, like a music video. Yeah, yeah. At the same time, it's really pretty to look at. Uh, it's super interesting. I like that they're trying something different. I do too, and I hope that the people who watch realize, especially for a newcomer to Coke Studio, that it's not pre-recorded because it could easily look like just a music video. That most you know, most music videos, it's just the, the recording's already done. They're all lip syncing and mimicking the, their air guitar. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're playing the instrument because they know they're the musicians. But the thing about Coke Studio is they're doing it like the everything you're hearing is what's happening right then and there mm -hmm. so to get the quality of sound that coke studio is used to getting with the live gigs where it's just like a setup on a stage but then add to it that dimension of a single shot live action and they could transition from camera to camera if they needed to i, I as long as they maintain what they've done is the quality of the sound i think it's cool i want to see tachar do one of these i i was thinking of him exactly. Give to Char the Coke Studio budget. That's exactly what I was thinking of in the middle of this video. I was like, this was this is so to Char Lal right now. Maybe after uh, um, Brahmahash, Brahm, Brahmastra, he'll uh, yeah, he'll be invited to do yeah. a Coke Studio session because he would knock it out of the park. Oh, absolutely, he'd knock it out of the park. Yeah, he'd be be so fun to see. It would be so great to see that because he has that unique, and I know he loves doing them. He could even do one of the ones he's already done, like do the Dark Knight, but do it as a live Coke Studio number. Like that, a setup. How live? long have they have they had those um, kind of wireless amps? Long time. Yeah, you mean well, wireless amps. I don't know when that was created, but also in ear monitors. Yeah. So, so like um, obviously they don't have to be plugged in anymore, and they can have free reign of where they want to go. Yeah, is the audio quality lost at all, or is the? Is it's negligible now. The the. Uh, it depends on what sound quality you're looking for because... Because I'd imagine like, people like Harry Styles will have them so he can walk wherever he wants on stage. Right? Absolutely, yeah. But it also it depends on... Okay, so there's wireless systems that will allow you to connect either your mic or your instrument to the board uh, or, or to the speaker system because everything typically goes from the stage to the soundboard and then out to the audience or out to us watching. But... There's also quality of sound. So, for example, you can do any instrument, typically, let's say, an electric guitar that has an amp attached to it, which, number one, you're going to need it for an electric because on their own, if you ever played an electric that's not plugged in, you can barely hear anything. Mm -hmm. It's not like an acoustic. There's nothing to make the sound come out. But if you – most electric guitarists like particular amps, especially with a tube amp, because it gets a very particular quality sound – in addition to their pedals, and then they'll have the microphone in front of the amp. So they're actually connected to the amp, and then the amp is being mic'd separately versus some instruments, you could just go straight into the board. Like if you had a bass, and some people like to do that through an amp as well. But the wirelessness factor, my friend Julian, who's a sound engineer, would know I'd imagine if the quality of the sound, I, I actually think wireless it's probably better is now. better because you're getting rid of any cable noise because that's a big problem. Sometimes you'll get noise in the cable or you get noise in the pickup in your instrument. Yeah. So it's pretty, it's I'd imagine, usually cleaner. I'd imagine at least at a certain level, it's better now. I know for sound engineers and people who do live mixing, <laughs> if, if they can have everything be without lines and no external speakers, it makes their job so much easier. You don't have feedback, you don't have hiss. It's just in every way. It's just the quality of sound, particularly for electric guitarists um, and vocalists typically, I'm one of them, don't like in-ear monitors. We prefer the sound coming at you in the room. Nope, never. Never experienced that. Yeah, in your that's why you'll Unless see it's stage. I've done stage. You'll see on a lot of uh, music award shows, singers will have in ear monitors and they'll just they'll yank them out because they just they they're not getting a good balance or a good mix and they can't hear themselves or they can't hear them. That was the that's the worst. The problem I had with a lot of in ear monitors is that you can't hear hear the audience, especially when I was a worship leader. I, I have no idea how much the congregation is 
participating. So, yeah. But mm. for quality of sound, I bet the wirelessness is yeah. the happy place. As usual, great quality yeah. content coming out of Coke Studios. Let us know what other Coke Studios Always we should good. react to down below. Just.